Okay, so all we need to do now is just update the rest of these um, these product columns. So next one is, uh, so we've done soda, so let's do beer, the um, pivot key value the is 42, so again we're saying what is the quantity of beer, um, and the last one is, uh, is milk, so we actually have to give that the name milk milk and then 42 so that should be it that should be all the hard work done yep so what we want to do is view this to see whether we have um, we uh, have done this right let's go to the toolbox um, and what I'll do is I'll add a uh, derived column here. And all of, the only reason I'm adding a derived column here is so I can string a data viewer um, on the green line and pivot in the derived column. I'm not actually using that derived column or anything else other than really a, like a clothesline. So, okay. So when that data viewer pops, it should show the, uh, the pivoted data. And I'll add a... Um, View at the top, which will then show the unpivoted data first. I'm not going to give these names. I'll just save this in case it crashes. It's actually reasonably stable software. This it's uh, okay. So I'll set it running. This will just take a, a few seconds to think about it. So the first thing will pop up is a data viewer showing unpivoted um, uh, data. And then it'll, the data will pass through the pivot transformation, and a data viewer with the uh, with the pivoted data will show up. So here we go. This is the unpivoted data. So we got multiple customer names, and then the products are in all in a single column. So what happens is the uh, the package pauses as these data viewers pop. So then I shut that data viewer, and there we go. We've got. Um, one customer per row. So that is uh, pivot transformation. A bit of a pain to, um, to set up, but it's very handy to know how to do it.